Hi everyone, this is Tamberamba, also known as Tammy Klinger, um, and I'm sharing a project I've created for Art by Marlene. So what I've started with, this is one of the um, signatures from the Rainbow Journal of hers, so I just love the paper that's in them. Uh, they're great for mixed media, can take all sorts of paint. Um, yeah, and so what I'm doing is just putting some washi tape around the edges uh, just to give me a little bit of a white border at the end. So now I'm going to grab some uh, paints, uh, some of my favourites I would say. So I've got Ballet, which is a pink. I've got Lace, which is a white. I've got Mermaid, which is an aqua. Happy, which is yellow. And Smurf, which is a deep blue. And I've grabbed a couple of brayers as well, a large and a small. So I'm just whacking the, um, starting with happy, whacking some down and just using a smaller brayer, just spreading it out a little bit. So I want a really grungy kind of uneven look in the background, but I want it to be bright. So I'm then coming in with some of the ballet, which is the pink. And again, using this time using the larger roller or brayer and just adding paint wherever <laughs> so I am thinking about what colors I'm putting where so I've gone with yellow and pink because if they mix I'll get a lovely sort of orangey color and then I'm coming in with mermaid over the pink um, because pink and blue make a gorgeous purple so the beauty of the art by Marlene paints is that they um, dry really 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 quickly so as you can see, not a lot of blending is happening, and that's great. That's what I want. So I want some little grungy blocks of colour. So now I've come in with the deeper colour, the Smurf, and I'm just, I did a little bit with the brayer and a little bit with my finger, just for a little bit more solid colour in a couple of spots. Okay, and then I'm just adding a little bit more yellow because I feel like I lost some of the yellow, and the yellow really brightens it up makes it happy so I'm just using my finger for that last little bit and just spreading it so it's nice and thin and then probably give it a quick dry yep quick dry but as I said the dry, the Marlene paints dry really quickly so it doesn't need too much of a dry. So now I'm going to get some of my white paint, which is lace, and pop a little bit down on my mat. And then I'm grabbing an essential stamp. And that one is stamp BM71. It's called Mix and Match Dotty Flowers. I'm just using one of the circular shapes. And... Um, one of the actually that's the stamping block from the advent calendar this year and i'm just because i want the look to be grungy i'm using paint um rather than ink because it creates it's not a perfect stamp and that's what i the look i'm going for here so i make sure some of my circle paint stamps come off the page they're not all perfectly on the page and I cluster a few into little sections and mainly run it across the center of the page because that's where I'm mainly going to work and then I've just cleaned up with a wet baby wipe and now I've grabbed uh, essential stamp ABMES stamp 80 and that's called love um, so I'm giving my page a quick dry and then I'll probably, I think I come in with some black archival ink. And the reason for using the archival ink is you just want something waterproof. Um, so it doesn't smudge if I, if I decide to add more paint or more wet mediums. So this one I'm using the circle with the heart. It's quite grungy. Um, and I, I'm not worried if it doesn't stamp perfectly because I can sort of go in and fix that after. So I'm making sure that, again, some of it comes off the page um, and also I do little clusters. Then I'm coming in with the little circles from the same stamp set. I love that stamp. And I'm just placing that here and there, thinking about a line running across the centre of my, my, my page. So I've grabbed another stamp set now. I love the essentials. I use them all the time. 
So I'm just trying to find it here for you. So that one is ABM ES Stamp 79 and it's called Writings. And I use the um, a number stamp uh, sort of throughout the background and then there's a squiggly line stamp as well that I'm stamping. And you'll notice I'm keeping it across the centre. I don't want to go out too far to the edges because I've got other plans for out there. Then I grab the heart that is also from that set just because it goes so well with the other stamps that I've used. I really love that with Art by Marlene's everything goes together. You can mix and match um, and you know use things old arrangers with new arrangers. Okay so then I just created a few more bolder hearts. And then I've actually dug out the one of the little mini pads in black and white that was in the advent calendar. So I've still got lots of bits, gorgeous bits left from the advent calendar. Um, so I knew I wanted some black and white because um, my page is quite bright and bold. And anyone that knows my work knows that that's how I roll. The brighter the better. And I always add black and white to my bright pages and that just gives it grounds it I guess and gives it um it's so it not so it's not so busy although they're really busy the black and the white just calms it all down and pulls it all together so I've cut um, some circles in different sizes from a few little bits of the mini paper pad and I wasn't I didn't trace circles I just simply cut them with um using my eye and some scissors and I will put them onto the background and I will, you'll see soon, I'll trace around them. So they don't have to be to perfect circles because I end up going over it with a pen anyway. So there I was, I found some of the little chipboard pieces from the advent calendar that I haven't actually used. I don't think I end up using them, but I was just sort of playing around, working out what I want to do. So now I've grabbed a um, Art by Marlene stencil now this is an oldie from uh, when she designed for the crafters workshop and it's called tcw i'll just find the number 809 and i think it's called ocean window and so what i'm doing is i've got some white gesso and i'm popping that down i feel like the background is quite blocky so I want to get rid of that and I want to blend it all in. So I'm just whacking down some white gesso and then coming in with sections of the stencil. So you could really use any stencil for this. And with a wet baby wipe, I'm very quickly removing some of the, um, the paint, the gesso through the stencil. And you get this lovely, gorgeous effect in the background. And it just tones it all down particularly when you're using white and because I've got a white edge once I remove my washi tape it gives it a really nice um, effect so now I'm gluing on those little bits of um, the little circles I cut out so these I'm using a gel medium um, but you could use the marlene glue you can use any sort of glue but I am never sure if I'm going to come back over with anything because I don't usually have an end plan when I create. I just have a bit of fun. So I like to use a gel medium as a bit of a sealer and that way if I want to come back in with something else, I can. The only thing when using a gel medium, you need to really dry it really well um, before you add other bits just so that it... Um, because I have lost a few nice markers by being impatient. So dry that off really, really well. So now I've got some black paint. So I've used the pitch and I have popped a little bit on my mat. And then I'm using just an old gift card or credit card just to add some extra black into my work. So I just wanted a few more grungy lines, um, some thicker and some thinner. So I just simply put my credit card in the paint and then swipe it across, across the page. And then I add a little bit of water to some black paint. And with a fan brush, I'm just flicking the paint on just to give lots of splats and just 
doing that with the black helps to tie all those stamps in so they don't just look plonked on the page they look like they're supposed to be there now I need to dry that all those splatters off really well so I did that with my heat gun and then oh that's right I felt like I wanted a few more circly bits in the background so I grabbed another stamp this was from the original stamps that I used a little uh, doodly circular and it's from that mix and match dotty flowers which was stamp bm71 i just popped that in a couple of spots then i've grabbed a paint pen and i'm just scribbling around those circles just to make them stand out a bit and as you can see i'm really scribbling quite loosely and um that's the look you want you don't want it to be perfect i'm also just blackening up a few of those circles um, from the stamps where it maybe didn't stamp as well as i'd hoped so yeah so lots and lots of different circles i also come in with a finer black paint pen as well and do a few scribbles around the circles and that just ties it all together So now, I don't think you can see me on screen, but I have grabbed this sticker quotes um, and I'm looking to find which one I might put on there, thinking that I've got circles and I've got hearts. So I was just looking for something that might jump out at me. Um, and I do find one that says, if Mother Nature did not like curves, the world would not be round, which is lots of fun, which is very Marlene. She's all about the fun and her quotes make me giggle and I use them all the time. Um, yeah, so because of the circles, I thought it reminded me of the world. And then because of the hearts, I was thinking about loving ourselves and, you know, no matter what shape we are loving ourselves and each other so now I have just stuck those quotes on with a little bit more gel medium so sometimes I find that they with a lots and lots of um, mixed media texture they don't want to stick as well as I hope so I just seal them off then I've come in I love that deep smurf blue poking out in between and I want to add a little bit more so I'm just actually using it straight from the tube just doing little dots um, and that's the beauty of the little tube case that the packaging that they're in you can squirt a little bit out you can use them as dots yeah there's all sorts you can do so they're great very diverse so now um this is when the magic happens I'm pulling back that washi tape and you'll see those really nice crisp edges um, yeah and it looks great love the colors if a little bit of paint seeps under some of the washi tape there's a spot at the top that I'm not happy with all I do is a little bit of white gesso and it, it's gone yeah so that is it from me um, I hope you can play along and do something a bit grungy and a bit bright and fun for the new year. Thanks, everyone.